So Tampax had this tweet that was huge saying, let's celebrate all people who bleed. So this video is to thank Tampax for celebrating me. I'm a famous bleeder. Take rugby, for example. Other rugby teams knew me as the guy who, A, showed up to the field smoking a cigar or a pipe, and B, always said dang nabbit when things went badly. But my own rugby club knew me as the guy who was always bleeding. I'm a bleeder. Celebrate me, y'all. So. You know, a lot of bleeding happens as consequence. I do something stupid on my bike and I skin my knee. But the bleeding that means something happens because of sacrifice. Maybe consider that women give of themselves all the time. They just give their bodies and they bleed for it. But Tempax made it very clear they're not celebrating women. They're celebrating all people who bleed. This isn't about Tampax or periods. This is just me having some fun with the idea of bleeding. Let me tell you what the most meaningful bleeding is from Hebrews chapter 12. Wherefore, so this is right after Hebrews 11, the great cloud of witnesses, the saints, right? The saint, the litany of saints. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Why wouldn't you want to be wearied and faint in your mind? Because you are a Hebrew Christian and you are being persecuted. And what is more, Great destruction is coming. So much in the epistles is to arm the saints for persecution. What's the next thing that is said in this passage? Hebrews 12, verse 4. Ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. That's one of my wife's favorite verses. Man, women and blood. There's definitely a thing there. But I want to be one who bleeds, or at least who's willing to bleed. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. That is just one of the most stark verses out there. And that's some bleeding that means something. It's some bleeding that fulfills what you were made for. Let's stop trying to castrate ourselves. Let's stop trying to, I mean, what's the feminine version of emasculate? Deginize? You know what? I'm going to press pause and I'm going to Google that. There is confusion on the internet about castrate or emasculate for females. Isn't there a, there's a line in Shakespeare, right? Yes, Lady Macbeth says something about being unsexed because she wants to do hard, violent, murderous deeds. Anywho, this video is, is gonna, I was just gonna say something about blood, but it turns out we're gonna wander now. Cause check this person out on the internets. Is there a female equivalent of emasculate? I came up with ephemulate, but this sounds strange. 
And then here's, here's the thing. All of these answers revolve around the idea that emasculate means to weaken a man, and you can weaken females as well. Should I even say females? So we can just use emasculate for women too. Associating an abstract noun like power with gender is what forms a nonsensical basis of the misogynistic, or misogynist, I should say, word emasculate. Bearing in mind that emasculate also carries the connotation of making less effective or strong, an exact feminine equivalent would be hard to find. That is, if you are going to use it in correspondence with emasculate. Here's a, a theme I'm seeing in some of these responses. Like, declitterate was a suggestion. Because apparently when you emasculate a man, the important thing about that is that you rob him of the ability of sexual pleasure. Margaret Jackson coined a new verb, to defeminate, the equivalent of to emasculate, to describe the woman who is deprived of sexual satisfaction from coitus. A woman, too, she wrote, is defeminated by protracted abstinence, just as a man is emasculated by protracted abstinence. Oh, such a depressing, empty view of what sex is. And I guess that brings us back to let's celebrate the diversity of all people who bleed. Here's the tweet in its entirety. Fact, not all women have periods. Also a fact, not all people with periods are women. Let's celebrate the diversity of all people who bleed. Hashtag trans is beautiful. Hashtag myth busting. In the face of such rage against the created order, rage against our being, our end, what we're made for, the beautiful things about us. I am going to resist sin. And I think you and I, you dear viewer, and I dear I, may be called upon soon to resist unto bloodshed. If you would like to participate in the Joffrey the Giant community, the YouTube viewers, the Twitch viewers, people who used to enjoy my written blog, you know who you are. Join my Discord. Join the conversation over there. I hope to see you soon. You can find the link below.